G'day, my name's Tomo and welcome to another episode of Tomo's Tune-Ups. This is a very different episode in which I am solely talking about the Hero 12 new GoPro. Now, this has been out for a couple of weeks and this channel is not about talking about reviews. It is solely about building classic minis and expanding the viewers' horizons in what you can do with cars. So I'm only gonna be talking about this for a couple of minutes just to answer that question in which you've Googled in order for you to get here. So, as I said, this is the new Hero 12 made by GoPro, awesome camera. I'm not going to sit here and bore you about all the features, what it does. There's plenty of videos out there that go for a good 25 minutes and explain all of that. Please Google that, but this is not what the video is about. The one thing that I have noticed with this camera, and no matter how far I've Googled, no matter how deep I've gone down the rabbit holes, I'm unable to find the answer. So this video is about that answer in which you've Googled to get here. So in order for you to download this, to a computer, you need to connect it to the internet, so Wi-Fi. You then also have to apply a charge to it. Once that's done, it then uploads it directly to the cloud. Awesome, cool, you don't have to have an external hard drive. It uploads it to GoPro. Fabulous, easy, done. But the downside of this is two things. One, that is the only way you can upload it to the computer. Two, in order for you to upload it, you need an account with GoPro, which means you have to pay for the subscription. Now, I don't have a problem paying for the subscription. I love it, GoPro is awesome. They are a wonderful product. Jump on board if you haven't already checked out GoPros in the past or other videos in which they've made and the materials in which they made these out of, they're just fantastic. The sad thing about it is because you need that subscription, you're kind of limited to what you can do. Now, the only other option you had on previous models depending what it was the one i'm filming on is currently a gopro 9 you can do it one of two ways one you can directly connect it via the usb-c port in the side connect it to the computer and it will download to the gopro app on my pc awesome it's fairly easy two is you connect it to power once it's got power and it's got wi-fi it will then upload it to the cloud so it has both benefits the answer to your question in which you've googled to get here is the answer is no if you plug the usb-c cable directly into here and plug it into your computer it will not download the content from the camera to the pc whatever reason that is i don't know it is the only downside of this camera so you have two options in which you can download the footage from this camera to your computer. One is open the side flap, take out the SD card, put it into an SD card reader, into another GoPro, or even directly into your computer, download it onto the computer, and then transfer it to the editing software in which you're doing, which is not the most ideal thing. To be able to take this thing apart again and again and again, it's super annoying. It's, it is double handling. There is no point for it. Option number two is you connect it to the internet and uploads it to the cloud. Awesome, it's sitting in the cloud. You then want to go onto GoPro, you then have to choose the media you want and then download it. Okay, that's fairly simple, straightforward. Goes to a download folder, awesome. You then have, say, footage over three different days and there is, um, let's just say, one video on each of the days. So there's three days, three bits of footage, one on each day. Pretty self-explanatory. When you downloaded on a previous model, for instance, the Hero 9 in which I'm filming this on, you would connect it, it would download everything and categorize it depending on the days that you did it. So it might have been the first, second, or third of this month, for instance. So, awesome, you've got those categorized. So you can go in there, upload, grab the pieces that you need, use it in the video, terrific, done, easy, super simple to use. But when you download it from the cloud to your computer, you then have to go through and scroll through all of the footage in which you've got to work out which days what, what do you need to upload, do you need to upload it all to one video, do you need to do it over a series of videos, it's just, it is literally double handling and is the only thing I don't like about this camera. If you connect this directly to USB-C port, to the computer, it will not download it. Please, if someone in the comment section has an answer for this, please let me know. But as far as I'm aware, no. You can't connect this directly to your PC to download like you would on a previous GoPro camera. So guys, that is the episode. Please let me know in the comment section below. This is not endorsed whatsoever by anyone. I'm not slagging on GoPro. I'm not saying that they're a crap product. I absolutely love it. I honestly do. And I say that from the bottom of my heart, from all of the videos that I've made, majority of them have been done on the Hero 9 in which I'm filming. And I'm going to be expanding my horizons using the Hero 12 to be able to grow my channel that little bit better. So this is my own personal opinion. Please, anyone in the comment section below, let me know of any other way or is there a setting I've missed? Is there something I've changed? If there is, I'm happy to admit it and you know what? Cool, 
Excellent, we can move on forward from that. But the answer to your question, like I said, is can you download footage directly from here to your computer? Simply, the answer is no. See you right here on another episode of Tomo's Tune-Ups.